Tonight I'll reach out and touch the sky In the city of angels Feels like I'm coming home With my head up in the clouds Psst. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel If you're new here, I'm Ange And I'm thrilled to have you along for my journey um, So the last week or so I have been fighting depression, big time. Uh, lots been going on personally in my life and yeah, I just kind of checked out. Today I dug my heels in and got back into it because that's what we need to do. Um, I went out and had some, got some fresh air, some sunshine, took the garbage out. Uh, cleaned the apartment, uh, and yeah, now I'm doing this video. So I've missed you guys, uh, then let's get on with this video, shall we? Okay, so costochondritis, coronavirus, and fibromyalgia, quite a mix. So let's touch on the one thing everyone's talking about, thinking about, worried about uh, coronavirus. Uh, it's scary uh, to a point. Um, as long as we are taking care of ourselves um, the best we can, that's all we can do. Um, people that get in a panic and go crazy um, you know, they're entitled to do that. I'm not here to put anybody down. Um, but I'm going to share with you what it is I'm doing right now because of coronavirus. Okay, so what am I doing to help myself uh, through this coronavirus scare? Well, as I've always done, washing your hands is super important. I'm trying not to go out like on public transportation, um, stuff like that any more than I have to. Um, and I certainly, uh, when I get home, I'm washing my hands thoroughly, properly. Um, I have started taking more vitamin C. I've started taking more vitamin D. Um, I'm saging. Uh, the house, it helps kill germs. Going to sage. Saging is good to clear negative energy. And it's uh, good for killing germs and everything else. So. Uh, definitely worth doing. Let's go to every room. I'm gonna show my daughter's room. It's kind of messy. Go the corners. Looks like I might... Oh no, I don't have to relight it. I thought I did. So, going to the bathroom. My kitchen is a mess. Go through the kitchen. And then back around here. I 
out a bit and then I just stamp it out it helps kill germs um, keeping things clean and you know if, if you're able to and can afford to it doesn't hurt to be prepared with extra groceries and toilet paper not as crazy as I think some places are going, but, you know, whatever makes you feel better, right? Um, but yeah, just, just take care of yourself and your environment. And another big thing is try not to touch your face, which I think I did earlier in this video. I'm always touching my nose. Um, hard to stop doing that, but I am trying to be more mindful and it can't hurt to try to do that. So, um... Yeah, it's uh, it's a crazy time. Um, we've lived, you know, I've lived through uh, all the other scares. Um, I did have H1N1, um, swine flu. My kids and I had it, and we got through it okay. Um, but I know us having fibromyalgia, having a more compromised immune system. Um, you know, it can be scary for us. Just just make sure you're taking care of yourself and uh, do the best you can. And don't stop living your life and try not to live in panic because, you know, as long as you're doing your best, that's all you can do, right? The biggest thing I want to suggest <laughs> is clean your cell phones. They carry so many germs, uh, and you're out, uh, you know, different places and touching the phone and, you know, we're all using our phones. Most of us, um, get some Lysol wipes or something like that. Wipe down your phone, you know, a couple times a day. I do. And again, it can't hurt. So that's another tip. Clean your phones. Important. Because if you have clean hands and then you go pick up your phone and it's not clean, your hands aren't clean anymore. So, do it. I've had the flu <laughs> countless times. I've had pneumonia seven or eight times in my life. Uh, one time I didn't think I was going to get better and that's when I was first diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Uh, it was pretty scary, but I did get through it. Um, however, as a result, I do have scarring on my left lung. Um, so it's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you just deal with what you've got and do the best you can do. And, uh, you know, inform yourself. Uh, read up on things, inform yourself, don't let the media scare you, um, just be mindful, cautious, and take care of yourself, which you should be doing anyway, right? So, okay, moving on. Here's an idea. Why don't you share your tips down below in the comments as to what you're doing to help keep yourself safe from getting coronavirus. And share your worries and concerns below too. So let's talk costochondritis. Uh, most of us who have fibromyalgia do experience this and it is basically inflammation um, in your cartilage around your rib cage. Uh, you can go feel breathless, uh, can feel tight, uh, pain like to the touch of your ribs, under your breasts, 
um, you know, just around your rib cage and everything can be mild to severe. Um, a lot of people get scared and think they're having a heart attack. Um, I actually called 911 uh, about four years ago because that's what I thought was happening to me. And uh, nope, costochondritis. It sucks. It really does. It is really easy to panic uh, when you're experiencing a severe bout of costochondritis. Um, if you're worried, get it checked out. There's no shame in that. Um, better to be safe than sorry. Um, but if you have it mild and you know you don't know what to do, um, I have been suffering with costochondritis really badly for the last couple weeks. Uh, the worst it's been since I've had fibromyalgia and so I looked up you know what to do about it and basically stretching exercises um, like over your head stretching exercises touching your toes things like that you know stretches like this and just opening up that whole area as much as you can um, along with certain yoga uh, poses which I haven't tried yet yoga poses I will post the names of them here um, I haven't tried them yet if you have or if you have any tips for what you do for your costochondritis please comment below with with that information and uh, yeah let me know what you've tried what's worked uh, what hasn't we're all in this together you know uh, let's help each other out here um, so yeah, now I'm going to share with you two exercises, um, that I find work the best for me that I found in this last week. And I'm going to share them with you right now. Okay, guys, I want to show you, um, a couple of exercises that I found online that are helping me with my costochondritis. Okay, uh, the first one is almost like a superhero thing where you, like you're breaking your, ripping your shirt open and going, and just stretching into it, stretching into it, stretching into it. You, you might hear some cracks in that, okay? The other one that really helps me, uh, I think there's two more, but here's one, is you, stand by a wall and go a couple feet away put your hand behind you like this and then slowly walk to the wall okay I know it looks weird it feels kind of weird but I felt some cracking and check this guys seriously look at that look at stretch my arm out more so it does do something and then you do your other one like this walk oh. hold it and then walk back and we'll see look they're even definitely try these two okay I totally just realized something I haven't been going to the gym and swimming like I normally do because of my depression and swimming really helps with costochondritis so that would explain why it's gotten so bad for me so I'm going swimming tonight what are you guys gonna do to help yourselves let me know below another thing that I have stopped taking that I think uh, also has made me feel worse with my costochondritis is this. It's turmeric uh, with curcuma, like black pepper, it helps absorb, but it's really good for inflammation, uh, to prevent inflammation. Um, I'll post some benefits here. Um, I also think it's good uh, to prevent getting sick. So again, maybe something you wanna take while you're worried about uh, the coronavirus. 
you really should be taking this anytime. Turmeric is amazing for the body in so many ways and it can help aid in weight loss. So I don't sell this, I'm not sponsored, but this is good stuff. Here is my tip for this video. The other day, my daughter and I went to the doctor. We were rushed, uh, we had slept in. Came home and my daughter could hear like a tick tick ticking sound, really weird sound in her bedroom. We went in to see what was going on and we found this. I don't know if it will focus, but yes, this USB caught on fire. Now, we were lucky, really lucky. Um, as a rule, we unplug extra cords, you know, other than like the TV or the stove or the fridge, but any other kind of cords or plugins, we usually unplug them just to be safe. Uh, we were in a hurry the other day, didn't do it, and look what happened. So I won't even go to sleep with anything plugged in, especially near the bed or anything like that. So please, people, be safe, unplug. It's real, it happens, uh, and it can happen to you. So there you have it. Okay, guys. Big shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy to have you join our Fibro Fam Jam. Let's keep building this. Share these videos with your friends, family, on social media. It might help someone, you know, and it'll help us grow too. Just want you to know I appreciate you. Thanks. Hey guys, I really appreciate that you're... <laughs> so I just remembered that... I'm, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> ah! oh, so there's that. So... take 120 <laughs> hey guys a big shout out to all my new subscribers we're building this <laughs>